Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Pretty Poison, a South African simmer. So in today's video, I am creating six rooms with specific themes. So Pata on Instagram has posted a challenge for celebrating their 700 followers on Instagram. So I'm going to link that challenge post down below in the description if you guys would also like to try out this challenge. It is really fun to do. So basically they gave six different themes for either you must create a room or you can create a sim. You can decide are you team room or team cast. So obviously I chose team room but I think team cast will also be fun to do. So this challenge is for boulders and for cast creators so you guys should totally check it out. This is now my attempt at doing the challenge. So the first bedroom I did the theme is called go green. Now there's many different ways you can interpret this theme and it doesn't have to be a bedroom. It just says room so I assume it can be any room like a kitchen or whatever but I just chose bedrooms for all my builds. So this is the first room that I'm doing. I decided go green. I decided to take it like a literally. So I'm literally made the theme color green and I'm just putting a lot of nature and plants and stuff like that. So that is how I interpreted the go green thing. But if you have eco lifestyle, you could also interpret it as like recycling and you know, that kind of thing. So there's many different ways this can be interpreted. But I really like how this bedroom turned out. I also did upload all my bedrooms on my gallery and I did make sure that all of them are functional. I did test it and all that kind of stuff. So the final version on the gallery is 100% functional and play tested. You will see in I think about three of these bedrooms I used that mirror from the high school years. It's just a stunning mirror and it's great to use in bedrooms like high school years has the best bedroom furniture so I probably mostly use that in the bedrooms for the furniture like even the dresses and cabinets is high school years and the beds like a lot of the beds is also high school years. So for the version on the gallery the clutter I put in the window is not there because when I upload the room it did not include that clutter so yeah unfortunately the window clutter is not there okay so the second room's theme is mystical now i've never made a mystical bedroom this is my first time making such a bedroom and i really love how it turned out it is so pretty once again i use high school years stuff like the hanging lights from the ceiling is high school years the bed is high school years that beautiful wallpaper comes from Crystal Creations. I love this wallpaper. It is so pretty. I literally bought the Crystal Creation pack just for that wallpaper. And then the rug is also Crystal Creations. But I do end up moving the rug to the door. Because I put another black rug like by the bedside. So I put some shelves from the Crystal pack. And I also put this bookcase which is really cute. I absolutely love this bookcase. It's also my first time using it. It has like a little ladder which I think is also really pretty and the purple swatch on it matches nicely with the wall so I'm just glad the swatches match up in this pack. And then the mirror is just like a base game mirror and I decided to move the bed because I wanted to put a fireplace. I thought this room has to have a fireplace. It just makes it more magical. <laughs> and then I tried to look for some nice wall art you know like stars and maybe some moons that kind of stuff. And then I put a few plants in here, not too much, I didn't go like too crazy. And I used these wall stones from the castle estate kit. I think that's what it's called, the kit. I just recently got it, I haven't really used it yet. But I thought it looks really pretty like they're behind the bed. So yeah, then I just added it there. And now I'm just like trying to see what wall art can I get. I didn't find a moon that is on its own, I only found this one with the clouds. So I tried to hide the clouds and just show the moon by the curtains. And then I put these starry lights. I just, I like these starry lights. They are so pretty. I use them quite a lot, I think. And then I use this floor lamp. I use this cute little moon, crescent moon light. I think it's from the Grain Together pack. But it's so cute. I had to put it in this room. And yeah, now I'm just putting a bunch of clutter. So to upload this room on my gallery, I had to add another round of exterior walls on the outside. To, I basically enclosed this room in another room. Otherwise, because it uses platforms, I wasn't able to upload it as one room because of the platforms. But if you enclose this room in another room, then it will let you upload it as one room. So you, if you guys download this room, you just have to delete that extra 
like layer of walls then it will be fine <laughs> but yeah that's the workaround for uploading this to the gallery and it's one single room even though it's not okay for the third room the theme is a famous painting so i decided to take van gogh's famous painting of a bedroom i don't know if i say his name correctly but yeah, so I struggled to find a window that I really like because I wanted the window to be green on the inside. And I keep finding swatches of green windows, but then when I look, it is white. It is only green on the outside. Like, what is up with that? But then eventually I find this window. And then I did struggle to find a bed, a single bed that matches the painting. But then I actually end up finding a double bed that looks exactly like the bed in the painting, except it's double instead of single. Like, it is really, why isn't that bed single bed as well, you know? Like, what's up with that? Then I put these pictures on the wall and I used the tool mod to rotate the one picture like it looked in the painting. It looked a bit skew. So then I also tried to incorporate that into my room. This room doesn't have much in it because, I mean, I made it like a painting. And then the other side of the room, I also just added like a few items just to complete the room. So I actually like how it turned out. It kind of looks pretty cool though so you see yeah yes yeah, the double bed but you don't get it in a single bed which really sucks i don't understand but that is sims and then i tried to figure out which chair to put but then i decided to go with this one i think it fit the picture well and then there's like a towel hanging on the wall but I couldn't really find a nice towel to hang on the wall, so instead I hung a bathrobe, so it's not exactly like the picture. And then on this little table, there's like a bunch of jugs, but we don't really have much jugs. I have like one jug. Oh yeah, and this debug jug. From It's not a debug jug, that actually. I only have these two jugs from the country kitchen and from the dino pack. I put this door because it kind of looked like a door like that. And then you see the side of the room, I just put whatever to complete the room. So the fourth room in this challenge is a season. So for my season, I chose fall, aka autumn, because currently where I live in South Africa, we are in autumn. So that is why I chose this season for the theme. I tried to give it a lot of like brown tones in this room. And I also tried to put quite a few plants and just like, kind of like, halloween -y stuff now even though we don't celebrate halloween in autumn for us it is like october is spring yeah so it's it's a bit funny but i know like generally people celebrate halloween in autumn so that is why i decided to stick with that and i tried to <laughs> do it like that but i think it turned out pretty awesome I really love the curtains I used here. It is so pretty. I think the curtains are from the seasons back actually. And then I wanted to use this mirror divider type thing. But I couldn't find a nice place to put it. But eventually I just decided to put it there in the corner. And then I add some clutter. I like adding these little ottomans and like pile of pillows and that kind of stuff. I also think this room probably has the most clutter out of all of the rooms. So I'm just like sizing down some stuff and putting it on the shelf to decorate the room a bit. I also try to use a lot of like candles because I just think it fit this room really well. Like the candles are so pretty, especially that little orange one. You'll see, I think I use it like three or four times in this room to decorate the cupboards. I also added like these skulls, these collectible skulls and a collectible type of Easter egg decoration which I thought is pretty and some books and a little case for it could be for jewelry I guess and yeah just some random stuff that you might find in a bedroom and then on the other side of the room I didn't want to put too much because I wanted the room to look nice on the gallery like if the walls are half down I don't want there to be stuff hanging in the mid air like if the walls go down I want the items to also go down for the camera angle you know like when you take photos so i didn't do too much on the side of the room i just added a few stuff and that is basically this room the full autumn room i also put this light behind the cupboard just to give it more light that side of the room so the fifth room in this challenge is 
themed alien, so that's quite interesting. So I did struggle a bit to like find a nice alien themed bed, but I ended up using this bed. I think it's more like a gaming bed, <laughs> like it looks like a video game on there, but in any case, I used these wall lights from the Party Central skit, which I thought fits the theme really well. So I went for, as you can see, it's like a kind of like a turquoisey, purpley type of theme color mixed with white. There's a lot of like white or light colors. And then that wall, circle wall thingy that looks quite trippy is from the Deco to the Max kit, which I thought is also really cool. It can be like in my mind, I put it there as like it's an alien portal. And then I just like placed out all the items I could possibly use in this room. Most of it is from like, I think they get to work back maybe. And then I also tried to get some nice wall art pieces. It was a bit annoying because the wall art goes behind the lights and I keep having to move the lights to be able to move the wall art again. So it was quite a mission. And then I just add some crystals as well. I also put a mirror there. And this neon light from the party essential skit I also add there. It's perfect because it's like a flying saucer. So that fit the theme quite well of this bedroom. And then I felt like this bedroom should have this hover lamp, which is really cool. It's quite big though. I did not expect the hover lamp to be so big. So I didn't put it on the bedside table. I ended up putting it on the dresser instead because it is huge. And I also used these cupboards from the high school years back because they have like little spaceshipy alien stickers on them. So I thought that is really cool for this room. Then I also added some toys, this like spaceship lamp from the little campers kit, some books. And then I added a TV and a gaming console, which is functional, so they can lie in bed, watch TV. There's a chair there that I put there that they can sit on to play video games, and yeah, it's I think it's cool. So the last bedroom, the six bedrooms theme is urban. Now, I didn't really know what to do with this, so this is kind of what I went for. And I must say, I love how it turned out. I really love the like concrete looking wall with the brick wall. It is so pretty. So in this room, I went for a lot of like blackish dark wood and then also some white colors. I think the white colors really stand out nicely. And it gives a bit of a break from all the dark colors. It looks quite pretty. But yeah, this room, I didn't clutter it too much because I wanted it to be like quite neat. And this room is also, once again, it has been play tested, so the bed is functional. As you can see there, I put the high school years mirror again. But yeah, as I finish this room, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Next up will be some screenshots, and that is it for this. Remember, if you want to try out this challenge, I have linked the Instagram post down below of Pata. You can go and check out the challenge and try it out for yourself. I would love to see that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Poison out.